My name is Ruth B. Turner, and I'm the Deputy Superintendent at the Rochester City School District. It's one of my favorite places to be. There's such a strong sense of community. I was really interested in this concept of community schools as a strategy to improve our schools. A lot of our community schools really emphasize basic needs that have existed for years. Whereas a traditional school model is students attend school to learn, teachers come to teach, and there's not really that focus on meeting the holistic needs of the whole child, such as food, health services, and mental health. In this particular school, we have a health center that's accessible for families and students. We have areas in the laundry room where students or families that might need to use you know, the laundry because they don't have access to it. We have a food pantry, a clothing pantry that's available for families and community to access. My name is Kelly Sperduto and I'm the director of community schools for the Greece Central School District. I loved teaching kids and working with them, but I realized it wasn't just about teaching reading and math. Kids come to school and always have a lot of different needs. They really needed somebody to support them and be in their corner. And it's just recently that we realized that schools can be a resource to really support the kids and their families. We try to think of everything a family will need. So this is our district pantry that anyone can come to. We have food products, household goods, we have personal care items, baby items, whether it's formula or diapers. We also have the clothing closet. Whatever families tell us they're needing, we look to our community partners to help support that. I'd say if you've seen one community school, then you've seen one community school. The strategy is really important to implement with fidelity, but each community has different needs and assets, and it will look different no matter where you go, and that's okay. My name is Nelson Kais. I'm the superintendent of schools at the Soda Central School District. There's no district out there that has everything that they need. So no matter how rich or how poor a district might be, the community schools model gives them the opportunity to do better for their kids and for their families. Every district has counseling needs, for instance. If you have the opportunity to provide better counseling services to your students, wouldn't you want to do it? It just makes sense. When you think about, for instance, our study work program, we have relationships with a number of businesses. They get to have our students work for them. They're earning a paycheck. They're opening up bank accounts. They're learning how to budget their money. You know, you think about some of those opportunities that we're able to offer our kids through a community schools model. It's just unbelievable to me. I'm of retirement age right now. I, I could retire tomorrow, but I truly can't imagine doing anything more important than, than shaping the lives of children. We have many things to be proud of, and what drives me to do this work every day is a firm belief that all children, all communities deserve a quality education. Many of our schools have been able to do some academic improvement using the community school strategies, and it's been really effective. Kids are engaged and motivated and want to be in school. We're seeing higher graduation rates, lower chronic absenteeism, better academics. Community schools are a way to build trust in the community. Students, staff members, families, or community members come together for a common good so that our students can be healthy and successful, our families can be strong, and our whole community can thrive.